Hi everybody, my name is Marie Hardin and I'm Dean of the Donald P. Belisario College of Communications at Penn State. I am so happy that you're considering Penn State as a future home. I want to tell you more about the college, but you know what? I've decided to let the students do it for me. So we asked some students in the college to put together a video about what they want you to know about us. Take a look. My name is Marie Hardin and I'm Dean of the Donald P. Balsario College of Communications. We have an obligation as a college to be cutting edge and to really be thinking what is the job field going to look like in four years and in eight years and beyond. After being here for four years, I've really just been able to experience all the different opportunities that College of Communications really has to offer. They really throw it out at you when you're visiting, but to be here and to be able to do so many different special things, that I think just really embodies what the College of Communications is able to do. We really strive every day to keep students at the center of our work. I think that Penn State does an amazing job giving people the opportunities to do things. I think the college does a great job of offering a really wide array of opportunities to students because we know our students come here with a lot of different interests. There's a club for everything. Penn State offers a really wide variety of classes which is perfect for what I want to do, especially with journalism. You definitely want to dabble in a little bit of everything. The classroom experience here in the College of Communications is awesome. I'm able to learn a variety of different things within my major and there's so many different options you can take in terms of your different courses. You can take professional courses, uh, development courses. We're challenging our students with real world experience and the kind of experience that they need to go out and get the jobs of their dreams. Our faculty are pretty amazing. Professors here know your name. That's really, really cool because it's a huge school and these are professors that have done huge things. All the professors are very supportive and they all have worked in the industry. They bring so much experience to the classroom straight out of the field. Students and alumni talk about Bob Martin and his impact on their lives and careers probably more than any other name I hear. Bob Martin has always been there to help me. Bob Martin works very closely with our students to help them decide what kind of internships and careers they want to go after. Then he matches them up with alumni who can really help them and he gives them tips and opportunities that really make a difference for them. An example uh, that I would point out is our Washington and our Hollywood programs. The Penn State Hollywood program for one definitely changed my life. It gave me great internship experience and also moving forward professionally. It definitely changed what I'll be doing in the future as well. It's all because of the Hollywood program. Penn State has really quite extraordinary internships. They have connections all over the world. Our alumni network is vast, it is experienced, it's highly placed, and most importantly, our alumni are eager to help current students. My biggest accomplishment as a College of Communication student has to be going to the Super Bowl and working for the NFL for Super Bowl 52. As a junior, I got to be in Minneapolis for the week leading up to the Super Bowl, working, rubbing elbows with Hall of Famers and also NFL PR professionals. We know that students come here in hopes of great lives and careers when they leave Penn State. And my job as Dean is to make sure that we provide that foundation. That was exciting, wasn't it? It's so wonderful to see the way our students take advantage of all of the hands-on opportunities that we offer them inside and outside the classroom. But I want you to know about something even more exciting right around the corner, and that's the launch of our new Donald P. Belisario Media Center for the college. This center is gonna bring students together from all of our majors and from all of the clubs and the various programs that our students are involved in producing media and talking about the communications industries. I want you to learn more about the Media Center and what it has in store for you. Take a look.
I'm Emily Clevenger with the Belisario College of Communications. I'm here today to introduce you to some of the exciting opportunities that are available for students just like you. We at Penn State are a big school. That means we have big school resources. However, in the Belisario College of Communications, we pride ourselves on offering a small school feel. We do this by providing a small classroom size, encouraging students to participate in campus media opportunities, and preparing our students to enter their careers. In the Belisario College of Communications, we have five majors. Here to talk to you more about each of our majors are our current students. My name is Rachel Tasker and I'm a vice president and an intern and an ambassador and a world traveler and I'm a public relations major. My name is Alex Heinemann and I am a director and an executive and a cinematographer and an advocate. And I am a film video major. My name is Hannah Mears and I am a host and a reporter and an editor and a sports fan and I am a broadcast journalism major. My name is Pujo Nerker, and I am a historian, and an activist, and a writer, and a public speaker, and I am a media studies major. My name is Ethan Zerby, and I am an honor student and a director, and a camera operator, and a filmmaker, and I am a telecommunications major. If you have questions or would like to learn more about any of the five majors provided through the Belisario College of Communications, please feel free to schedule a virtual visit by following the link provided. You are also welcome to reach out via phone or email. The Belisario College works hard to cultivate a student-centered environment. The Office of Academic Advising is here to support student success and to help each student navigate the Penn State system. As an additional support service in the Belisario College, we offer the Office of Diversity and Inclusion. The Assistant Dean in this office, Mr. Gary Abdullah, exists to make sure all students are thriving at Penn State. Additional opportunities offered through Penn State include study abroad. Over 140 countries are represented in our Office of Global Programs. We encourage any student who has a study abroad program on their college bucket list to work with their academic advisor and we would be happy to schedule this for you. As an additional travel opportunity, students in the Belisario College of Communications are offered the opportunity to participate in an embedded course. This is an exciting opportunity for students to pair their in-the-classroom work with work in the field. The John Curley Center for Sports Journalism in the Belisario College of Communications is an exciting opportunity for students to hone their sports journalism skills. With 31 NCAA collegiate level sports on campus, Penn State offers many opportunities for students to get involved. In the Belisario College of Communications, it is important that we are offering students an opportunity to be creative. This takes the form of student-run clubs and organizations on our campus. Things like Com Radio, PSN TV, The Daily Collegian. There are so many opportunities for our students to become involved and to gain hands-on experience. What makes our program so successful is the work that we put in to prepare our students to enter their careers. 
in the Belisario College of Communications, we have our own Office of Internships and Career Services. This means we have a full staff working to get you an internship and working to get you a job post-graduation. The first step in this process is internships. Our database of internship opportunities sits at over 4,000 job listings. This database is open for students to explore, but we would rather you schedule an appointment and come in and get to know our internship office, and you can leave with a stack of 10, 20, even 30 internships that are specific to you, specific to where you will be, and specific to your skill set. The second part of this equation is career preparation. The Office of Internships and Career Services offers resume workshops, cover letter workshops, and we even offer an etiquette dinner so that when our students are moving on to interviews, we know they're well prepared. The Belisario College of Communications is proud to produce three of our own communication-specific job fairs. The first happens here at home on campus, then we travel to New York City, and finally, we travel to Washington, D.C. to offer our students an opportunity to be in front of communications industry employers. As an additional opportunity for our film and production students, we offer a second opportunity in New York City called Films and Friends. This is an opportunity to put our film and production students in front of our alumni and professional networks, an opportunity for them to showcase what it is that they have been working on for the last four years. The most important voice that you will hear is the voice of a current student. We asked our students to reflect on what it was like to be a high school student, thinking about where they wanted to spend their next four years. We asked them to give you some advice, and here's what they had to say. I think some advice that I'd give to my high school self would be to be open-minded. Um, coming to college, I grew so much from the person I was in high school to where I am now. Um, and that just came from having to deal with different opportunities, different scenarios, obstacles, whatever it be. Um, and it just helped me to grow as a person and individual. And I think if I wasn't open-minded and wasn't able to adapt to these different things, um, I wouldn't have grown as much as I have and been like the strong leader I am or like the successful student or, you know, had these opportunities to go to Atlantic Records. Like what? I would, I'm a freshman applying. I went to um, the internship fair and a lot of people were like, wow, you're a freshman, you're here, what? Starting so early and they were amazed by that. And that's because I was open-minded and willing to go even as a freshman, even though I knew I didn't have as much experience as the juniors and seniors. Don't stress about your future. Don't try to have everything planned out because there's gonna be different things that come your way and make sure to take advantage of those things. If they don't necessarily fit into this plan that I had, that is okay. Just always stay open. That's what I would tell my younger self. So before I got to college, I was gifted this like board. It was like just a magnetic board. And it said, on your new adventure, be brave. And I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> so I don't know like what you want me to do, like bravery, like saving cats from trees, like what kind of bravery is this? But like in my freshman year, I always used to look at it and like come to learn that like being brave doesn't have to be something big. Like being brave can be trying out for something new, like trying out for your school play, trying out for the basketball team. It could be talking to the person sitting next to you, making new friendships, like hanging out after class, study buddies kind of thing. It could be sitting in the three front rows during class so you could get a better handle on what's going on, paying attention. It could be talking to a professor. I feel like no professor at Penn State has ever wanted me to fail, has ever reveled in the fact that I might <laughs> end up, yeah, yeah, they're not plotting against you. They get really excited when people come to their office hours and things like that, and they're always so helpful. So I feel like being brave in that aspect can be something little going to a club meeting. So like, try everything. There are very few times in life where you get to start a new adventure that's completely different from what you've done before. And I would definitely say college is one of those times. And even after college is one of those, definitely one of those times where you're starting out new. So definitely be brave. 
My biggest thing would just be like not to stress over one, where I was going to school and two, like what I wanted to do with my life. Cause I, you know, I saw everybody around me that knew I want to go to this school. I want to major in nursing. Like I know exactly what I want to do. And I was like kind of freaking out a little bit because I didn't have a hugely clear path. Like I knew I was interested in law. I knew I was interested in communications. But aside from that, I didn't know what my next four years were going to look like. Um, so my biggest thing would just to be like, relax, like it'll all work out. Um, like whenever I noticed that I was stopping like doing the research and like really like listening to like what my gut feeling was, that's whenever I was figuring things out. That's when I figured out where I wanted to go to school. That's where I figured out what I wanted to do in my life, really. Um, so definitely don't stress. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> now that you have heard about all of the exciting opportunities available through the Belisario College of Communications at Penn State, we warmly invite you to accept your offer of admissions to Penn State. In order to do so, simply log in to your My Penn State account and click the Accept button in the middle of your page. Once you have accepted your offer of admission to Penn State, what comes next? There are a few pieces of homework that we are asking you to complete. Your educational planning survey allows us to learn a little bit more about you. The Alex Math Assessment is an online test that you must complete before you schedule new student orientation. New student orientation scheduling will begin in April. Orientation is a mandatory two-day event in which you will spend two full days on campus learning how to navigate. On the second day of orientation, you will be welcomed to the Belisario College of Communications where you will meet with your academic advisor and begin to schedule your courses. The admissions acceptance deadline for Penn State is May 1st. If you have any questions or would like to have a conversation about your Penn State journey, again, I welcome you to schedule a virtual appointment by following the link provided or you're welcome to call or email me with questions. Thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the chance to explore the opportunities available through the Donald P. Belisario College of Communications at Penn State. I hope to see you on campus soon.